What's going on? This is something that I have been seeing a lot of on YouTube. The chiropractors. The chiropractors. Let's go back right quick. The chiropractors are now starting to use booty to promote their own professions because it's just cool to see a booty jiggle. Those are the most popular videos. I've been watching this one guy who does, he does really good chiropractic work on like calves and stuff. He's a really good chiropractor, but his most popular videos are the ones of women like this. Why? Because it's butt cheeks at the end of the day. What, I mean, okay, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> That's enough. Uh, I'm just saying, man. We, we've got to stop letting the booty trap us at every chance we get, man. Because what's end up happening is that the booty, the booty becomes so alluring that it's just so easy to fool you now. We'll show you another example. We're going to make it fast and quick, okay? Okay? And just tell me that this is not the reason people watch this kind of stuff. I'm not about to sit here and wait all day for that. Okay, this one has terrible, terrible, terrible screen. Very terrible quality. But let me show you. That's all it takes, man. This is nothing going on in this video. There's nothing going on in this video. You understand? The booty is the trap. This will get somebody to click on it just because, watch. Some people will even click into this stream just because they saw this booty in my thumbnail, right? It's just to go, I make all types of videos showing no booty, then I show a little bit of booty, bam, they're clicking in, right? It's the same thing we see. I want y'all to notice one thing. Y'all see the writing on her legs and the writing on her, Stomach, five gifted, $25, $2,500 bits. Get your name on me. Men, what are we doing? The booty is a trap. Why can't I pause this? The booty is a trap, okay? It's an absolute trap. You should not be paying to have somebody's name <laughs> written on her. What are we doing, man? That's a dang shame. The booty shouldn't trap you like this, but it does because it's so freaking alluring. It is so, it's to the point. Oh my gosh. I think it's more because it gets pushed on us that the booty becomes a trap. Like, I understand that we are sexual beings and all that kind of stuff, but I think the booty gets pushed like it's the best thing on earth. And I think that's why you got more and more men falling for that trap. How many men have you, and this is, I don't want to think about this too hard, but how many men have you seen like get into real trouble because of the booty, right? Let's talk about it from a different perspective. How many of our men have gotten into fights? How many of our men have gone into a fight they shouldn't have gone into, got beat to the ground or even worse because they were allured by some woman who was saying that they were going to do this or they're going to do this with them? It's to the point where we're, we're starting to give up our dignity, our pride and everything just to see a girl's butt, just to see her give us a little bit. Do you see how people go into Twitch streams? Do you see how people talk to these women and their, their uh, Patreons and stuff like this being like, you're such a queen. You're so beautiful. I love you so much. You're the best ever. You're so amazing to do anything just to get a little glimpse of the booty, just to get them to send them a secret DM or get their secret Snapchat. It, it is a trap because what you end up doing is doing this for, please don't be a bad video. I didn't loop that. Sorry. Please don't be a video. Please don't get in here and think that these women care about you. They don't. Okay. I'm sorry to tell you one woman is really going to only care for a few guys at the most. There's no way she's going to care about every single guy that hops into her DM. You know, it's to the point where we saw that, you know, the average girl's DM is still blowing up. If any average looking girl just gets on and shows her butt cheeks, her DMs are going to fill up. Why? It's so dumb because even the, the even, oh man, even the most intellectual man or even even the dumbest guy knows that he's more than likely not going to get her her showing her butt cheeks does not open the floodgates for you to go bust her down but even then men will start hopping to hop in their dms for what
They're just gonna hop in the DM to blow him and gas him up and be like, dang girl, you fine. Why? Like, please explain to me what that does for you. I I have fallen for the trap of booty a lot, but one thing I've never really did was hop into DMs and tell a girl she's beautiful because I saw her uh because I saw her booty in a in an Instagram photo. But I have fallen for the trap of paying girls. Let me tell you my story for a quick second. When I was young, man, I one time went to a strip club and spent all my money to the point where I was broke and didn't have any money to even put gas in my car. <laughs> Another time I spent $3,000 on a girl and <laughs> didn't even get her. She ended up going, she ended up going back to her ex that she told me that she never wanted to be with again. Listen, the booty is a trap. It wasn't just because I was trying to bust her down, but it's the booty that first gets you into it, right? It's that first kiss. It's the first time she touches you. It's the first time you take her to bed, right? As soon as she gets you there, trapped. Because what do we see now? We see now that it's popular for women to hold their intimacy back from their... I'm not going to say boyfriend because I believe through, doing it through marriage, but... If, you know, if you're in a relationship and you're, you know, working towards marriage, okay, we're not going to get too deep into that. But it's to the point where women withhold their intimacy from a guy to get things out of them. What are we doing? If you really love your man, why would you withhold the one thing that's the most important intimacy? Why would you withhold that from him? Because you want to go shopping or you want to manipulate him turning the the booty has turned into a manipulation tactic we see the same thing in our music videos we see it at the grammys we see it on twitch we see it on kick you know if kick has done a good job but at one point at one point on kick y'all weren't here for this this is only for people who were in, in on kick kind of towards the beginning um shout out to aiden ross joining us but there was some people when kick first started off that would literally show corn you know they would show the hub i mean everything i remember clicking into the video i'm like and i was trying to find a way to report it but there was no way to report it back then and i was looking into this video i mean it was straight up absolute a girl guy doing everything it was a guy on here and i think he's been banned because i haven't seen him since maybe he's still on here but i haven't seen him since but it was a guy who that's how he would get people to follow him he would show the the hub and people would come in and watch it and just watch it because you know some people they don't want to go to the websites and stuff like that i get that they don't want their parents to find out and that's the man that's a sad thing too i want to say that that we're, we're the man that was doing that to was bringing in young men to come look at the hub in their videos that was disgusting because that's young men those are probably teenagers because those are the only kind of people who are going to come to kick just to look at that right and you were just messing up young men's minds just to get them to do what click the video because when you went to watch him he it's not like he it's not like he was like a twisted guy who was like oh you know what? i'm gonna show them this and then i'm gonna talk about how bad it is no he he would show that first once he got a collective like I don't know 50 60 people in this thing boom then he would start a regular video talking about nothing but I think kick banned him I haven't seen him since all I'm trying to say is that it's it I mean it, I I try not to get too deep and try not to get too emo emotionally involved but I can't help myself man I tell you that I love women and how much I care about them. And we've already gone over that and established how we need to treat women more like they are real human beings. I don't care how pretty they are or how ugly they are. We got to treat them like they're real human beings that are just not those kind of parts. But I also want to say this for the men. Men, you are more than just your sexual thoughts, dude. You're All of us are getting played. I mean, it's so sad to see how many young men and how many men are starting to become depressed. How many men are taking their lives because they're really going to work every day, making money, and spending their money on these baddies only to get turned around and told that they're a loser or told that they're a chump or told that they're broke or they're nothing. They're meaningless at any time. And then when they try to date just a regular average girl, they're not good enough for them either to the point where men don't, can't get that intimacy they can't be with the woman they can't get married and then they get told they're the losers of society even though they're trying their best and working as hard as they can but because they because they don't look that good because they're not a chad they can't even get a woman they can't do anything so they find
around themselves spending all this money on women who never care and then when they finally realize what they're doing is so stupid by that time it's too late they go to, they go in their they go in their bedroom close the door load the glock and it's over i know how and I, I'm, I'm i'm sick of it I'm sick of meeting men who are just down and y'all don't see them. That's the thing. Y'all don't see them. Y'all see the men who are like me. I'm not saying I'm a perfect guy. I was a loser and all that kind of stuff. I couldn't get a girl or nothing. Right? And I remember being those guys and I went through some hard times. There was a point in my life. I remember sitting in my bedroom. I told the story before sitting in my bedroom, uh, lights off, ready to go. I was so sick because the only girls that would go for me are the women who would run over me, right? Men, y'all think y'all get in a relationship and you get with this woman who is dominant or very uh, toxic? It's going to destroy you. Those relationships always end bad. You saw it happen with Flight. I don't know what happened with his girlfriend, but that was a good example. What happened with Flight when he had a really ex-girl? It's the same thing that I think everybody's talking about when it comes to the blue face. I don't know these men, but I'm telling you, being in a relationship with a toxic girl is awful because here's the thing. You can't do anything with that. You think just because the sex is good it's enough to stay around it's not it doesn't end well eventually what's going to end up happening especially if you get a toxic girl she's going to break you down because society is going to tell you if you if you even try to stand up for yourself it's because you're weak you can't handle her right you can't do this for her and it's not freaking women telling them that it's the men it's other men saying well if you can't just handle your girl man shut the f up with that bull okay we're supposed to be men at the end of the day we're not supposed to go out of our way to dominate our women we're not supposed to go out of our way to keep our women under our foot i want to love my woman i want to love my wife i don't want to spend every day of my life making sure that she stays in line okay i don't want to spend every day of my life just trying to get the booty that's so dumb and we got all these freaking people out here putting the, all these stupid couples boyfriend and girlfriends that are putting their relationships online and making it seem like it's some dumb fantasy like oh yeah every now and then you get to slap her butt she shakes her butt and y'all get to go to the bedroom y'all are so dumb not talking about people who, i'm talking about people who really put that out there really fool people that that like being in a relationship is just about having sex when it's really hard there's really tears there's really getting angry there's really uh feeling really annoyed there's times where you get mad there's times where you don't know if you can do this anymore there's hard times that come in a marriage and there's hard times that come in even really long relationships do i don't suggest long relationships Relationships is just you know if you're gonna do it, go go towards marriage go towards it but it's still a hard thing especially then when kids get involved it's not this beautiful stupid life that like the ace family shows that you have a couple babies you get some money and you're good it's not like that these pictures of people showing their families smiling and all that it's such dumb fantasy if you want to show your pictures to your friends i understand that but showing it to the whole world just to make a quick buck or to just to say that my boyfriend is the best or or, or my girlfriend is the hottest thing on earth it's like dude what are you doing like you're showing people that this ain't real relationship it's just supposed to be real they're not supposed to be fabricated they're not supposed to get to the point where oh i'm just going to show her off just to show how great we are together well you know at the end of the day it's trash okay at the end of the day your relationship's trash you're struggling just i mean i got i can't tell you how many relationships i had to fake when i was having my oh my gosh when i was having my stuff destroyed when i was having my stuff thrown out on the ground i was having guys i have been hit i have been i have been slapped i have been punched i have been all these things and i'm a i'm a fairly strong i'm a fairly strong guy but you know the only thing i got told to me was to stick it out and <laughs> if she hits me um i'm stronger than her so like what am i so i'm stronger than her so what what is the end results for me we need to start teaching men hey you know if you're in a toxic relationship but she hits you you need to leave it's over no, no more talking because what ends up happening is men they start taking these hits they start taking these beatings they start thinking that getting to the coochie is so important that they're willing to get hit get smacked have a girl talk to them call them a bitch call them a loser call them a small penis a small dick tell them all this kind of stuff and just totally humiliate him and then this is what makes young men want to go to the bedroom and lock the door and go grab the out of the drawer this is not it's not because the women are breaking it down it's because they don't even have nobody even the when you get y'all seen the stupid videos when a girl's beating down a man in society no nobody comes to his aid what is he supposed to do his only option is to either get beaten or be alone what man wants that and men are we are really getting encouraged to get with toxic women and either and deal with it or just be alone and then when we don't deal with it we're like i'd rather just be alone what do you get called you get called a cuck you get called a loser you get called a nobody you get called a chump 
you get called all these names because you decided to look out for yourself and you don't want to be in a toxic relationship because there's only two ways out of a toxic relationship either you're going to end up putting your hands on her or she's going to put her hands on you and i i've let me tell y'all a story i have literally seen this play out in front of my face i have seen this play out in front of my face where i saw a toxic relationship get so bad that the woman ended up stabbing the man seven times it happened right in front of me i was sitting on the couch chilling and all of a sudden all i hear is a bunch of yelling i look up i see a knife and i just see stabbing <laughs> that man survived but he easily could have died we've heard stories of men dying that's I man people were people were encouraging that man to stay in the relationship but what did it end up happening he almost died getting stabbed to death because she just didn't happen to stab him in his heart she stabbed him everywhere he just happened not to get stabbed in his heart i mean i mean he's a lucky man to be alive today but that's the kind of stuff we shouldn't be encouraging man and be like it's a woman can't abuse a guy that's dumb that's fucking dumb hold on let me read this right quick hey man love what you're saying people keep uh people are forgetting about love and care now it's all about money sex no matter how destructive it is <laughs> you uh it is you people mainly young people and here's the thing i want to say about that uh guy what's ended up happening too is that these young men are growing up to be me and then me i'm growing up to be in our 40s the young men coming up it was even sadder as a lot of these young men are taking their lives but at the same time the men who do make it to their 30s and 40s and 50s they just go off and be alone they just go build a log cabin in the woods and you don't hear about them some men are just choosing to be alone but they're not telling nobody these men are just like you know what i just they keep their face off the internet they keep everything off the internet you don't hear about the men who are just like i'm good i'll just be by myself i get it and i think at some point society will have to flip it, society cannot sustain the way it's going you're gonna have too many single men and too many single women for society to sustain itself at some point somebody's gonna have to start making changes Okay, somebody, and I, I know that some people say it needs to be the women. I think we both do. We need to start, men, men, we got to start, we got to stop treating every woman like they're the best thing ever because they got a coochie and they got a nice looking booty. Okay, all the men, y'all can't keep doing that because the more you do that, the more average women start, the more average women start looking down on average men to where all the average women are only getting with the top guys and then all the top women are getting with the top guys and even the bottom women who can't get nobody they barely still get with anybody they just they just end up choosing to be alone so man quit chasing the coochie and start chasing relationships for real and then you'll stop getting all this ish if a girl says oh i don't need a man okay cool just let her go on yeah I, yeah i know about rumble yeah, I know. I mean, I got you. I, I, I post this stuff on YouTube, but uh, yeah, I know about Rumble. <laughs> but I, I don't think I've said anything too crazy where I need to go to Rumble yet. Not too crazy. But, man, we, we you got to stop, stop giving into this stuff, man. Stop giving into it. it it's, it's destroying us. It used to be cool to go tell a girl she's a queen and she's everything in the world because she got some nice butt cheeks and she wears a thong and shakes her booty on Instagram. That used to be okay, but it's destroyed us. And that's what young men aren't even understanding. As much as they think that OnlyFans and all that is cool, it's only made us worse. Now you got any woman going over there and showing her naked body, any woman going over there showing lingerie, any woman going over there. And you know what's so funny about OnlyFans? And I'm going to tell y'all for real. And y'all should all know this. But as, much, as many women that think they're making money on OnlyFans, it's just like YouTube and Kick and Switch. Don't let it fool you. There's the top dogs on Kick. There's the top dogs on Twitch. There's the top dogs on YouTube. And there's the top dogs on OnlyFans. A very select few people are making even past or even close to the uh, average wage, which is $50,000, okay, in America. Okay, so don't, don't think that oh everybody's over here they just a woman can just show her naked body and make millions that's not the case most women over there showing their butts for 4.99 a month i mean it's it's not not all of them are making money okay because once one woman saw that bella delphine was making all that money they all flocked over there and then they realized real quickly sorry the booty ain't that special there's there's women who are looking better than you okay there's gonna have your there's gonna be your amorats and hear me out 
I do not find Amaranth or Caitlyn, whatever her real name is, Caitlyn. Amaranth, I don't find her attractive. I don't think anything about, uh, who is the other, I don't know any of the top only fan people, but those women over there, I just, I, I, I'm gonna try to say this nicely because I don't know them. I don't know what they're going through. I don't know if they get drunk. We talked about this. A lot of OnlyFans models, they they tend to abuse substances, right? We we watched we we looked at a whole article on that, and that's not uncommon. A lot of women in the sexual industry tend to use substance abuse. And I just read an article today that says young teen girls are starting to do a lot of substance abusing they're starting to use more drugs and a lot of young teenage girls are starting to drink more and start to use more drugs so it's it's it's, it's because they're so sexualized they feel like they have to show their body and the only way a girl can give up her most intimate thing that her father told her never to give up or her or her father told her to never give up she's giving up for $4.99 a month or $19.99 a month or $100 a month or $1,000 a month I don't care it doesn't matter there's no there's no price you can put on a girl's body that is worth it but at the end of the day that's what they're doing and after a while you have no choice but to start drinking and smoking and trying to numb down the feelings of how sick you feel at the end of the day because it's not good it's not good to be putting your body out there every single day as much as you think it's hot and you get that external validation it's going to catch up to you go look at all the women who get in this industry and they come out just crumbled because what ends up happening is yes you'll get a few guys who say you're pretty you'll get a few guys who say you're lovely you'll get a few guys who would say i would kiss your toes but a lot of the guys over there are sex addicts us a lot of us men we're sex addicts okay because we've been taught that we're biologically wired right so a lot of the men are going to go over there and be like girl uh, take off your clothes right now and i want you to do this they're going to say so i don't want to get too graphic but they're going to tell them to do some disgusting things and men if y'all y'all know what i'm talking about y'all know what i'm talking about you're going to go over there and tell her to slobber and tell her to do this grab this grab that put it here put it there and tell her to do everything even when she tells you she doesn't want to do that it doesn't matter because once she sold a little bit of skin, whether that's lingerie or she shows her feet, it's a matter of time before those sex addicts find you. And when they find you, or they're about to demean you, they're about to make you feel like the worst thing on earth. They're going to make you feel like a piece of meat because they're going to tell you to do everything. Even y'all heard the story from Lana Rose. Let me turn this down a little bit. Even y'all heard from Lana Rose, right? Lana Rose, the famous porn star, even she got told that one time, and I don't think this is too graphic because she put it up. She said that they told her, oh my gosh, they told her somebody vomited, and this is this is not verbatim, but this is this is pretty much as close as they got. This somebody vomited or told her to vomit on the floor, and then they urinated in the vomit, and then told her, told her to eat that vomit that's been urinated in. And you know what? When I heard that story, I didn't even find it like crazy because I know what kind of stuff is out there in the industry. I know what a sex addict can do. I know the stuff that a porn addict will do. They will look at anything and everything. They want you to do the most disgusting stuff that you would never think about in your life. Unless you're an addict. Addicts, they can think of the most craziest stuff. But that's what they're going to tell you. That's what they're going to tell you. When you go to their when you go to their DMs, if we I wish some of these OnlyFans girls would put up their DMs and show them the real life. Show them what men are really saying, what women are really saying to them. When the men are like, hey, I want you to take this off and strangle yourself. That's how sick it gets. I know that sounds awful, but it's real. That's what they really see. And that's what, you know, more women and uh, y'all guys have got to start reading. Stop what uh, no, you know, I'm never that. <laughs> I, I I'm bad about being on my phone too, I know. <laughs> Y'all gotta start reading these articles. I was reading an article that says that more young women, when they when they when they give it up for the first time, a lot of them are forced in. Well, not a lot of them. Women who are getting who are doing it for the first time, like the percentage of them that are being forced has gone up. Some of the women are getting. Uh, some of the women talked about how they get choked. A lot of the men that they try to do it with, like the men who are real addicts. Not every guy. Not every guy is choking girls. But some of the guys that some of these girls with get what they choke them men are really young teenage men and young men in their 20s are really thinking that choking a girl is hot they really think hitting a woman slapping a woman how can i say this without being too vulgar they think hitting a woman slapping a woman spitting in a woman's face and just uh choking her um not with their hands and choking her with something else they think that that's they think that's that's right oh man it's so disgusting they think that's okay 
you're really thank you Gary that's exactly they think really looking at these women who are pretty and just demeaning them as far down as possible is really what women want do you have a sister do you have a uh, daughter like can you I have a sister I can't imagine somebody uh, if a man who came up to me and told me that what he does to my sister is calls her the worst names calls her fat he slaps her he punches her he makes her hurt he makes sure that anytime they do anything when she walks out of there she's in the most absolute pain she could be in the worst pain possible like the whole you know the whole stigma of, i don't want her to be able to walk like i want her to be in absolute physical pain to show that i dominated her if a man came up to me and said he wanted to do that to my sister i don't know what i do i'd probably snap and I'm, I'm a pretty calm collective guy but if i heard somebody was beating on my sister because he thinks she likes it even though no part of my sister has ever told a guy she likes to be beaten <laughs> she likes to be slapped she wants to be spit in her face she wants to be told she's she's nothing like what are we talking about dude i can't and i'll tell you this guys and this is my past life I had some women I got with who said that they wanted me to be aggressive. And I understand there's some aggression, okay? I, I, I can understand some roughness, but I had women who were telling me to do some, some of the craziest thing I've ever heard of. I've never choked the girls. That's never been a thing for me, you know what I mean? And it's sad that women really, not I'm not saying women like this, but women are thinking that men like this. They think being choked and demeaned is something that us men like. And so they go find men that like that kind of stuff and think that that's how sex is supposed to go. They really think that being with a man is supposed to be this rough, abusive thing. And that's why you see more women getting turned out. You got all these. Oh, man, it's so sad to watch, man. I'm so sick of watching YouTubers get turned out man these female youtubers who were great creators they played video games but as soon as the views got low what is the first thing they turn to only fans it's just like a man when a man as soon as his views goes down what's the first thing he turns to scamming first thing a man turns to crypto first thing a man turns to selling gambling and uh, selling bets and i'm not against gambling no, don't don't come after me kick i'm talking about scamming bets like saying that they're winning but they're really not i'm talking about scamming bets right you see a lot of youtube is turning to prize bets a lot of youtube is turning to uh what is it do a lot of youtube is turning to gambling and that's fine but it's only because the views that went down i understand if you want to do it because you think gambling's okay there's nothing sinful about uh gambling as long as you're not gambling away money that's going to help your family there's nothing wrong with gambling but you got all these guys out here telling them that they're going to win i don't like youtubers who turn into scammers who are like hey you're gonna win listen listen I, statistically i'm getting all a little bit off hand but i want to go back to only fans right quick but statistically speaking the house always win when it comes to gambling Vegas always has like a three to five percent edge. It's just statistically they're gonna make money. Okay, so there's no point in telling somebody that they're always gonna win. The majority, more than likely, the vast majority of people who gamble at the end of the year, they're gonna be in the negatives. That Vegas normally wins. The only people who win in the end are, are sharp people who actually do it professionally. Okay, that's how it goes. So the same thing with these women who turn to OnlyFans when they when the views go down and they're not making any money. OnlyFans. I see so many of these women getting turned out into OnlyFans. But the sad thing about them is they're also scamming. Now, how is a woman scamming on OnlyFans? You're giving, you're showing them and telling these men that you like them, you love them. Hey, baby, hey, this. When you don't really care about them and they don't really care about you, that's a scam. You're giving them the most intimate part of yourselves, whether that's showing them your feet or showing them your, uh, your uh, lingerie, because you know what they're doing to it. They're touching themselves. They're uh, doing things to those pictures. They're probably leaking your pictures. They're probably selling your pictures. They're doing all this. And y'all are both getting this intimate thing out of each other with nothing going on in between it's just a monetary exchange you know what's so funny when people saw only fans go up they thought that it was going to stop the bad stuff from happening like prostitution and sex trafficking and only the only thing that only fans actually did was increase it and y'all see what happened at, sorry guys this is me reading again if y'all see the laws that are going on in california where they are legalizing and decriminalizing prostitution they did that because they thought it was going to help 
bring sex trafficking oh sorry guys they thought that was going to bring sex trafficking down uh newsflash it only made it go up <laughs> if you decriminalize prostitution do you think that pimps and all that are going to they're going to do less prostitution now or what do you think they do? they're going to do even more of it now now that it's not criminalized guess what prostitution is going to go up you know what I mean? That's like when people say, well, if we just legalize drugs, guess what's going to happen, buddy? It's going to go up. When they legalized marijuana, did the consumption of marijuana go down or up when they legalized it? Come on now. I live in a state where marijuana is legal. As soon as it got legal, I can't tell you how many pop-up shops popped up, boy. We have we have four, four, four dispensaries in a mile radius. Like you can be at a dispensary, look across the street, see another dispensary, and look to your right, see a dispensary, and look to your left, there's a dispensary. They are that close together. Y'all saw what happened in Oklahoma. When Oklahoma said that cannabis was legal, they do CBD, but when they said it was legal in Oklahoma, do you think that Oklahoma uh, started selling less marijuana now? No. It became one of the largest marijuana farms in America. So the concept of, oh, if we just legalize prostitution, it will uh, help these people. Uh, no, you only made their lives worse. Because now when they get sucked into this life and somebody pulls them off the streets and says they're going to be a model, but really they're on the corner selling their bodies. Well, who's going to save them now? Who's if it's not if it's not criminalized, who's going to save them? Nobody, because it's legal. You can't even like try to stop it. Like if a woman... <laughs> If a woman is really out there and she doesn't want to be a prostitute, she's literally being forced. She got told that if she doesn't do it, she's going to get stomped to the ground. How are we supposed to stop it if it's not criminalized? All we can say is, oh, she must want to be a prostitute. That, that, thank you. Thank you. Th thank you. That's exactly what they want you to say. Oh, she must like it. Oh my gosh. Y'all like, it's the same thing we hear about the hub, right? Everybody knows that the hub is getting sued for having minors in their videos and showing uh, abuse, right? Every, I'm sure everybody knows that that's happening to the hub and the same thing with Visa who supported the hub that's why Twitter took them away YouTube took them away and all that kind of stuff I think no I think Twitter still had them but YouTube took them off their platform so did Instagram and so that's why the hubs get sued because they had minors and they were sex trafficking and all this stuff is coming to light now and it's all showing up in the paperwork and why do you think that is uh, because we convinced ourselves that oh they like it Oh, these women actually want to do this. Why would they put videos up if they didn't want to do this? This is OnlyFans has got y'all fooled. OnlyFans got y'all really thinking, oh, these girls want to do this. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay. I don't care. Women can come out. This is what I'm sure there's women who come out and say, I love doing this. I love showing my body. It makes me sexually free. But given the chance that they were, eat, I guarantee you, if they were, somebody came up to and said, hey, you don't have to tell your body ever again. I'll give you this much money. You don't have to do this again if you don't want to. They probably stop. A lot of them would. Some of them, I'm sure they want to do that. It doesn't make it right because they're causing young men and causing young women to fall into this sexual trap and addiction. So it doesn't make it right. Don't hear. I don't care if a woman really does enjoy putting her body out there. I don't care. Because most of them don't. But there's going to be one or two. And I know somebody's going to come and say, well, uh, uh, blankety blank says she loves doing it. And it makes her feel sexually free because she's delusional. She really believes putting her body out there is really making her free when it's really tr making her a trap. So there's certain things she's not going to ever be able to do in this life. When, if she ever decides to change her mind and say, you know what? I don't want to do this no more. Too late. Your body's out there forever. Forever. Now you can go do your best to try to live a normal life and I wish you the best, but it's out there forever. There's going to be jobs you can't get. And that's how some of these women get trapped in this life. They get fooled into thinking, oh, you know what? I can just do this and sell my body and all this. And then the second they decide to stop and then uh, they get to an employer and they're like, you know what? I don't want to do that no more. I want to be a stand up. I, I want to go be. I want to go be a nurse. I want to go do this. I want to go do that. And then they're like, okay, cool. They get an interview and then somebody goes looking through their files and bam. Somebody can say, hey, I saw that chick on OnlyFans. I saw, yeah, she had an OnlyFans. I saw it. Yeah. And, and as much as y'all think that nobody should judge your past, I'm sorry. You can't go get a loan for a car if you, <laughs> you can't go get a loan for a car if you've had five cars in the past and you didn't pay for any of them and they all got repoed. I'm sorry. The past is the past. It's, that's life. There's certain things I can't do in this world because I screwed up. Okay. I can't go. I can't just walk into a doctor's office and be, uh, be, go walk into a, uh, 
a doctor's place and be like, hey, I just want to be a doctor because I, I understand I didn't go to school for it. I wasted my time in college. I understand I was drinking and drugging, but I still want to be a doctor. Uh, did you go to school for it? No, but you got to understand. I mean, that was my past life. <laughs> oh, well. Sucks. They do that for being a lot of things in this world. They go look at your past and they say, uh, what is going on? There's a lot of things they do in there. <laughs> and they say that you can't, you can't do this because of your past, buddy. You don't have a clean record. You can't just do anything you want and come in. It's the same thing that happens with OnlyFans women. You can't just be like, oh, but that's when I was confused and I, I thought giving my body is what I wanted to do. Can't work here. Sorry. I know you want to work at this prestigious place where we only take the best candidates, but you had an OnlyFans. You tr you decided to make that choice. And I'm sorry, as much as we as much as we would like to have you and we know you changed your life, you can't work here because of that. I'm sorry. You can't come here. We don't we we, we can't have women like you here. Men, we get this all the time. Men, we get this all the time. Don't we? You can't just walk <laughs> You can't just go walk into some place And just get a job because you want it There's some places in this world Where, where you want to work there They're going to look at your past They're going to look at how you did in school They're going to go look at your social media They're going to talk to your friends They're going to talk to your parents And if y'all know what I'm talking about There's real jobs out there I bet I've applied for some jobs Where they take your whole background check They talk to your parents They talk to your friends When I was first going to college That's how I got into college They literally talked to my friends They looked at my past And everything everything and it was, i was going to a prestigious college thank god at that point in my life i hadn't done anything crazy but right now there's a lot of things that i screwed up in life if i tried to go get a loan for a house they would look at me in my face and laugh because i've defaulted so many times back in the well just a few credit cards there was i've had my car repoed i've had things happen to me where they would look at me and go oh absolutely effing not no matter how much of a man I've changed, no matter if I say, hey, man, I changed my life. That was years ago. Don't matter. You still have this on your record. We can still look you up and see it. your credit was this. And five years ago, you didn't pay for this. You got student loans. You got the sucks. And these women, they get trapped. Then they're like, well, where the F do I go now? I can't go be a nurse or I can't go do that because every time I try, somebody finds out that I had an only van then I get fired. And then they feel like they got nowhere else to go. So where do they go back to? OnlyFans. So if you really think every girl on OnlyFans is doing it because she wants to, or is she doing it because she has to, or she feels like she has to, start thinking about that. Before you get on OnlyFans and you just start calling these women, telling them that they're getting to the bag, just just look at, just freaking look at them for one point. For once in your life, can you look at an OnlyFans girls and see the humanity in them? Can you just see that they're human beings instead of just seeing booty shaking and just want to judge them and say this or you want to praise them because they're getting some money? No, I need you to look at them and see the humanity in it and be like, well, why do I actually think they're doing this? Because you don't know them. But if you could just think for a second, if you could just click for one second and say, what if they don't actually want to do this, but they're doing it because they feel like they have to? If you just thought that for one second, do you just think it? Would you keep looking anyway? And if you would keep looking no matter about that, then you need to question yourself. Question yourself. Question yourself. You need to point the finger back at you. But well, if I'm looking at this girl who doesn't want to do this, she wants to give up her body for money, but she might not actually want to do this. But I'm still giving her money so I can pleasure myself. What's wrong with me? Okay. That's the question you really gotta ask yourself. That's the question I had to ask myself. When I finally gave up the, the, the porn life and I gave up all um, my addictions, I had to give up the drugs too. When I finally gave this stuff up, I had to start thinking to myself, because once it came out, once I finally opened my eyes and started like looking at all the allegations that were coming against the, the porn industry, which has been coming out for years, I was just blind to it. But once I finally started looking at all the women who are taking their lives, all the young men who are taking their lives, all these women who are saying they got trafficked, all these women who say that they've been abused since they were 12 years old and somebody took them off the streets and put their video on the hub when they were 12. There was a girl who talked about when she was 12 years old, her video got put up on the hub and they kept it up anyway because it was getting money. When y'all start hearing sick stuff like that, I'm like, what the fuck am I doing? What, what am I doing? I'm looking at women who don't want to be up here, who clearly don't want to be up here, who are probably getting abused. Few of them actually want to do this 
and but at any moment they could change their mind and it may be too late and they feel like they have to do this i just assume and i don't think there's any wrong thing wrong with this i'll shut up after this there's nothing wrong when you look at your only fans you look at your instagram you look at twitch and you see a girl giving her body out sexually it, it is there's nothing wrong if you just go maybe she doesn't want to do this and then click off the video just assume that she's doing this because she feels like she has no choice if you just assume that it doesn't matter if you really think, oh, maybe, maybe she really, even she flatly comes out and says, I want to do this. I love sexually giving my body up. Just assume that she doesn't actually want to do it and walk away. Because what is she supposed to say? If she's getting this money, if she's getting sponsorships, is she supposed to come on and be like, oh, I actually hate doing this, but these men keep telling me to take off my clothes. So I guess I'm just going to keep doing it. Is the girl really going to come out and say that? And you know what's so funny? In fact, now that I think about it, I guarantee you if a girl came out right now because I I saw this on my Twitter because somebody was arguing with me. If a girl flatly came out and said, I don't want to do this, but I have no choice. I want to make money. Even if all her followers heard her say that and she put that on her OnlyFans and her post and said, guys, I hate doing this, but I have no choice. I need to make money. Do you think the men and women would stop? No. There'd be a few people, maybe with the heart, that would come out and be like, you know what, that's screwed up. You know what, you need to get out of this life. But there's going to be other people who are like, oh, well, I'm still going to pay her. As soon as she puts up another naked thing, I'm going to pay her. Because you're fooled, you're delusional, you've been told that this is the most important thing in life. Sex is the most important thing you can ever have in this life. It is a lie. Don't believe the lie. Relationships is the most important thing you can have. For me. For me, relationships with God and then a relationship with somebody, whether that be your friend, I'm not saying everybody's going to get married. You can have a relationship with a friend and then your relationship with your family. Not everybody's family life is great, so you might not have a relationship with your family, but relationships are the most important thing in this life. Okay? The most important relationship and then the relationships with people. Don't, sex is not the most important thing is. Relationships are. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed, man. I hope y'all have a great night. Man, there was a lot of talking, but uh, 